With today's ever-changing design landscape, new components are introduced almost every day, and manually drawing each part can be tedious and time-consuming. This video is going to show how to quickly create a schematic symbol from a component datasheet in EDA Builder for fast, accurate component modeling. First, we need to create a new symbol. Select File, New, Symbol from PDF from the menu. In the Create New Symbol window, enter the name of the component. A location for the EDA Builder project must be defined as well. Select Browse for project location. Select the working directory and click OK. Now we need to select the PDF file to import from. Select Browse. Browse to the provided PDF file. Select the file and click Open. Click OK to create the project file in the defined directory. The EDA Builder canvas opens to show the loaded PDF. In this particular datasheet, the pin table is located on page 4. The pin table is shown. Zoom into the table by scrolling up and zoom out by scrolling down as needed. Let's start the import by extracting data from the PDF by selecting the table area. Choose the Select Area tool from the sidebar. This tool can be used to select tables or diagrams, BGA maps, BGA section maps, or defined boundaries. Select Table, Pinout Diagram, and click OK. Click and drag to select the pin table. A blue grid is generated over the table, and the extracted text is listed in the Data Preview panel. Since the headers were extracted as part of the table, we need to remove their data values so the table contains only pin information. To do this, select Exclude Rows from the sidebar. Click the column header in the empty row underneath it to exclude them from the final table. With the table completed, we need to configure the column functions to generate the part. Right-click on the canvas and select Extract Data, Extract and Switch to Scratchpad. Scratchpad automatically opens to the generated table. Reset is highlighted in red, indicating that it was flagged with an inversion bar in the PDF. We will correct this later. Let's assign the column functions. Click Select in the column header for the pin name column to define the function. Select Pin Name from the dropdown. Complete this process for the number and direction columns. Click Select in the column header for the description column and select Hidden from the dropdown. This will discard the column data when the capture part is created. Now let's correct the pin with the inversion bar. To do this, select Edit Negate Pin from the menu. Confirm that only the Reset Pin is selected. The Map Negation Code window appears. Set the map mode to selected pin names, the action to append, and the negation code to underscore L. Click Negate and Close. Underscore L is added to the end of the pin name. With the pin functions and inverted pin defined, we are ready to create the symbol. Right-click on the canvas and select Copy Data to Symbol View, Copy and Switch to Symbol. This will automatically switch to the Part Creation mode. The Check Form window opens, validating the component data and checking for errors. Some errors were detected in this design. To view details on an error, select the error from the list. The first error indicates invalid string in pin direction, which means that the format imported from the datasheet does not match the format required by Capture. Select each row detected as erroneous and select Change Value under Actions. Choose the correct value from the New Value dropdown. Click Apply Selected to change the pin direction to the correct function. When selecting a row, the pin type may be automatically detected and configured in the Check Form window. Complete this process for all the rows detected with this error. Select the next error, which is a warning. The pin function for row 6 is not specified. For this error, select Change Value under Actions, select the correct function from the New Value dropdown, and click Apply Selected. The last error details invalid characters in row 9. To fix this, select Replace Invalid Characters with Underscore and click Apply Selected. All errors have now been cleared and the schematic symbol can be created. Right-click in the canvas and select Edit Symbol Graphics. The Symbol View subpanel opens. There are multiple methods to create a schematic symbol graphic in EDA Builder. First, let's create the symbol by placing the pens manually. Choose Select Pins and Drop from the toolbar to activate the click and drop mode. Select each pin and click the appropriate edge of the component to place it. When a pin is placed, the next pin is automatically selected in the table.
pins can also be assigned automatically based on rules. To assign pins this way, the symbol must first be cleared. Right-click on the table and select Unassign All. Right-click and select Auto Assign My Rules. Configure the desired placement of pins based on the pin function and click Assign. The pins are added to the symbol automatically. Lastly, let's export an ORCAD capture version of the symbol. Select File, Export, or CAD Capture Symbols from the menu. A prompt appears to save the project. Click Yes. The ORCAD Capture Export window opens. Click Browse to choose where to save the capture part library. Select the desired folder and click OK. Enter the name of the part under Library Name. Check the option for Open Capture After Export and click Export. The Capture CIS Product Choices window opens. Select the appropriate license and click OK. Capture opens with the symbol listed in the Project Manager automatically. Double-click the symbol to open the Part Editor. The Part Editor opens an ORCAD capture, showing the completed part, which can be used in future designs. Efficiently create a schematic symbol with EDA Builder to quickly and accurately model the components required in your schematic design. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.